Sawa still going to bed. She seems kind of scary with that look on her face. Ever since everyone's talking this evening. She hasn't really changed into her pajamas yet. Oh, sorry. Are you going to sleep? You can turn off the light if you want. I'll be a little longer. There are some things I want to think about. What's wrong with her? I wonder if she's upset because people treated her like a suspect. I want to ask her, but it doesn't seem like she wants to talk about it. Oh well. No sense in dwelling over it. Let's just go to sleep first. Ah! <laughs> Huh? Hey, wasn't that voice just now saw us? Wake up, turn on the lights. I knew it. There's nobody in the other bed. What should we do? Should we go outside? The culprit isn't out there with an axe or anything, right? I don't know. And the door's unlocked. Oh, wait. No, that makes sense. Sawa probably opened it to go outside. Okay, Orion, calm down. Anyway, we need to go check up on Sawa. Sawa? Hey, Sawa, are you okay? Oh, Shin and Toma are already here. Ugh. Ugh. Calm down. Br calm down, breathe deeply. Are you okay? Everyone's here, right? Someone... Someone tried to push me. What did you say? I was going to the bathroom. And when I got to the stairs, someone was there. And then they pushed me. There, there. I'm sure it was really scary. But it's okay now. We're not okay. There's really a criminal here. He's really here. Yeah, you're right. Why would they attack you? Hmm? The criminal we talked about should have been aiming for Yuki. Why would they attack you? Are you absolutely sure that you were pushed? Calm down and try to remember. We talked about something like that earlier. Maybe it felt that way because of the way you were touched? Could that be possible? Just try to remember. No, now that you mention it, you might be right. Right? So calm down first. Okay. Whew, what a relief. It looks like she calmed down. But I wonder what really happened. Was it really the culprit? Well, that's pretty impressive, though. If someone here actually did push her, they can put on quite an act. Huh? Oh god, everyone just looks so evil. Hmm, everyone's out of their room. She is way overdressed, so she was wearing that to school? And what is going on here? I don't know. Why, why are they? I don't know. Hmm, was everyone in their rooms? Well, of course, I was in bed. Although it seems like three suspects are on question, we're up. Suspects? Wait, me too? Well, it's pretty much an established tactics for culprits and mystery stories to fake being attacked by someone. I'm not faking anything. Someone pushed my shoulder. It's true. You aren't saying you really did it. It's just a... I just stated it's a possibility. It's not even a possibility. Why would I even do such a thing like that? Well, let's see. If you were trying to go and dispose of some of the evidence, someone noticed approaching and you put on this act. Well, no way! Well, it's true. It's a possibility. Hmm. Regardless, I think it would be best if everyone stayed in their rooms for tonight. Whether you're attacked by the culprit or treated as a suspect, nothing good will result of it. And of course, I'm directing this as at the culprit who wants to dispose of any evidence. Yuki? 
regardless of whether Saul was fall was an accident or not, it's even more dangerous for you. The culprit in question is the criminal who tried to kill you, after all. Uh, I used to think they didn't intentionally try to hurt you. Maybe I was just being naive. If the culprit is determined enough to try to elim eliminate someone to interfere, they might attack you directly. After all, if you were trying to remember exactly what happened on the bottom of that cliff, it would be bad news for them. Ugh, what should we do, Yuki? What could we even do? You should stay in my room tonight. I'll watch over you. Tomo, you can go sleep elsewhere. Sir, would you mind lending him another room? Oh, I don't mind. Sawa, so go stay with mine. Well, that would be the safest, but is that okay with you, Yuki? What's with those doubtful eyes? This is an emergency. I won't do anything inappropriate. Well, she might not be wary of you doing anything inappropriate. Are you trying to say that it's because she suspects me of being the culprit? It is true. You're one of the three main suspects. It would be safer if she avoided you. I can't trust anyone else. Hmm, so you revealed your real thoughts. I don't want her to be with anyone else right now. Not even Tomo or Sawa. You know, Shin, I can't trust you either. I'm not saying that you're the culprit, but you might try to take advantage of this situation as a man would. I'm not that desperate for some action. Oh, really? Well then, how about this? Since she's in the most dangerous position, then she could choose how she feels safest. What? It should be the person that can be most confident has zero chance of being the culprit. There's nobody here who would object to watching over her, right? This sounds the most fair. I got it. You choose the rooms you want to sleep in. What? What are you going to do? What do you think the safest option is? I went through everyone. But. Okay. I'll, t I'll, t I'll tell you this tidbit since we're playing this. And I don't know if you guys are going to get the game or not. But if you do, you go through all these. Those people are safe. But there are like two people that you probably should stay away from. I'll let you figure it out for yourself, so if you play, but there are two people that you need to stay away from. We, of course, are picking Shin, because that's who we're dating. Well, there you have it. Yeah, you really can trust Shin the most, and I'm positive he won't do anything weird in this situation. Hmm, it looks like you really do trust Shin. Excuse me, sir, this facility has a batting cage, right? Why? Why would a place like this have something like that? Well, yes, it does. Why do you ask? Please lend me a bat. I need a weapon. Oh, and please make sure it's a wooden one. Oh. A weapon? Is a wooden bat really okay? You wouldn't need a... If you want a weapon, something else would be more suitable. If it was a real weapon, it could end up being dangerous for me in a shuffle, too. Also, seeing as how the culprit is likely someone here, it wouldn't want to kill them. He sure can keep a cool head saying something scary like that. I understand. I'll lend you a bat. Thank you. You can go to sleep. You look kind of confused. I'm going to keep watching from here. Why else do you think I brought you? I think what happened earlier was just an accident, but possible it wasn't. I was naive and wasn't prepared for that person to do any harm. If it wasn't an accident and they had attacked you, I couldn't have forgiven myself. Just go to sleep. Don't worry about me. 
Can I sleep next to you? Idiot, if you're sleeping next to me, I might end up hitting you with this. There's a chance... There's a chance of a fight, so don't get too close. You don't have to say it like that. You're worried. Why can't you be near him? Oh. That reminds me. Something like this happened before. Back when we were kids. When we were Tomo. And we got lost. And we couldn't get home. It's okay. Don't cry. I'm here with you. You don't need to worry anymore. I'm sure some adults will help us soon. Shin, come over here too. It's dangerous. I'll stay here. The weirdo attacks. I'll protect you. I can't fight if I'm holding your hand. You're saying that, but you're trembling too. Don't lie. You're not scared. I'll protect Yuki. Aw, sweet little baby Shin. Shin was always like that. He wasn't very nice and would never comfort me, but he was always thinking about me first. I wonder if he's afraid now. Oh, Where's the bat? <laughs> What's this? Are you scared? What, are you an idiot? I am afraid. I'm not afraid to risk my life for you, but I'm afraid to hurt someone. If someone were to attack, would I really be able to swing this bat? Thinking about that makes me scared. But I have to do it. I don't have a choice. I'll protect you no matter what. I already decided that I'll never let anyone hurt you again. I wonder how long it's been since you've done this. This isn't the time for me to be feeling happy, but I am happy. I was always telling you to be wary of me. It's not a bad feeling to be trusted sometimes. Sometimes. morning. It looks like you made it safely through the morning. That's good. Gee, Shin was too nervous. It made us kind of antsy too. Anyway, you should go downstairs. I'm sure everyone else is up. Oh, you've got to be joking. I'm leaving. Wow, they're already at it. I could hardly even sleep last night. Just look at the condition of my skin. You know, I'm not asking you to leave. I'm not asking you to not leave or anything. Just saying, since you're here, you should have something to eat before you go. I just want to leave this place as soon as possible. There wouldn't be much of a difference in if you left now or in an hour. Good morning, Yuki. What a nice problem to wake up to. Oh, hello everyone. Good morning. I'm sorry, but could someone please carry this pot of stew out to the terrace? The terrace? Why eat out on the terrace? Ugh, you common people. Owner, I'll help. Well, thank you, Shen. I'll leave it to you. I won't help. That's fine. Just wait there by yourself. It'll be nice to have some peace and quiet. <laughs> it's just, I don't think, like, you know how some people will be like, oh man, he's like hitting on her because he's like messing with her. I, I sincerely think in this case it's just he's like, 
I really don't like you, so this is just my time to shine and bring all resentment that I have to you. No. <laughs> She, Sh Shin is always saying things like that to start arguments. No wonder Rika doesn't like him. Oh, good morning, Yuki. It looks like you're safe. That's a relief. Osawa, good morning. Shin and Tomo seem safe, too. That's good. She's kind of limping. She might have sprained her ankle when she fell down the stairs last night. Last night was awful. My leg hurt, and I had a bad dream, and I couldn't sleep at all. I see. So, she... I see. She could have slept in the same room with you. Whoa! Hmm? <laughs> what are you doing? My shoes! I'm oh, sorry about that. I tripped. I guess some of the stew still is alright, though. Ugh, there's nothing around here to stumble on. Sorry about that. I'll clean everyone's shoes up. Just so you know, even if there's a single scratch on my shoe, I'll cut you into pieces. What kind of threat is that? Got it. Yuki, help me out. What? It looks like you're having fun. Kent, good morning. Good morning, should we help too? That's okay, we can handle this. Yuki? Sheesh, now he's making me do things that are hard on you? You know, you could complain about his treatment once in a while. I could, couldn't I? <sighs> well, that was hard work. That should do it. Not at all. The smell is still here. But it seems like they're a little... It seems like all the little cracks and seams. Anyway, what's Shin doing? Why does he have a camera? Take pictures of every single detail. What? Okay. Be sure to take front and back. Hey, what's going on? You're not even gonna ask why? I mean, it, clearly why. We know why. Since the shoe prints were found at the scene, the culprit will likely dispose of these shoes when they get home. If we don't record them now, we won't have another chance. Oh wait, does this mean he spilled that stew on purpose? And could it mean that Shin's been the one that suggested he, we eat out on the terrace? Shin is so smart. Hurry up before they notice. <sighs> Shit, and you cleaned my shoes perfectly, right? Yeah, see for yourself. We could probably take pictures. You could probably take one of those pictures with everyone wearing their shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that look on his face, he's just like, Oh shit, <laughs> he figured me out! Yeah. Should I do it? do it myself. Hmm. Ugh, finally, we can go home. It was so long. Longest three days ever. Ugh, finally, we can go home. I feel like it's been weeks. Guess we're not the only ones. I've got work tomorrow, but I might not be able to work with my leg like this. Mine, could you sub for me? Oh, okay. I feel like we're getting thrown back into reality. But in this case, reality is a welcome change. I feel the same way. Everyone seemed to be having to do Shin's bidding. I wonder if he will be able to fulfill his goal. It seems like he has no intention of telling you who the culprit is. Do you know who it is? I think so. Anyway, everyone, let's return to Tokyo. 
It's been quite a thrilling three days, wasn't it? Did you have fun? Ugh. The only ones who actually had fun were you, mister, because you've been reading too much Sherlock. Ugh, we're back. Oh, lovely Tokyo, we missed you. Well, I guess we're splitting up here. Splitting up? That sounds a bit sad. Everyone, I'll see you later. By the way, where are you going, Yukio? Hmm, well, that's a secret, but if you give me a call, I'll show up wherever you want. I see. That's good, then. Just who was that guy, anyway? Seems like even Shin doesn't know. He was a mysterious person. Well, I'm leaving. Please do not ever call me again. Now see ya. Remember, I helped you out, so I'll be looking forward to hearing the results. When we return, we should analyze the information as well. Well, I'm going home too. Thanks for everything. Bye-bye. Well, I guess I'll get going too. Tomo, wait a minute. What is it? Just to be safe, I want her to stay at my place today. Could you come too? I heard? Does he mean you, Yuki? Well, we're the only her left. Hmm. But you don't like when I'm around. Well, this is an emergency, and you can't let her just stay alone at my place, right? My mom's working late, so we'll be there alone together. Or does older brother Tomo really think it's okay for me, to, me and her to spend the night alone together? So am I her bodyguard or something? Exactly. Do you have a problem with that? Not really. Fine. I'll go. Thanks. Wait. Why are they both completely ignoring the she? What she wants? You could at least ask her what she wants. You could at least ask her if she has a problem with this. What are you standing around for? Let's go. Actually, I would rather go home. Sorry, I'm coming. Ah, right, yeah, I'll go. Good. If it seems safe, I'll let you go home tomorrow. Okay, thanks. Seriously, we came all the way back from Tokyo and we can't even go home? Shh. You've sure got a lot of patience, but I guess you just have to go along with it for now. You probably don't remember, but this is my room. You can sleep here. Tomo and I will be sleeping in the living room. Yeah, yeah. I don't care where. Hmm? Huh? So this is Shin's room. It's a big stereo. What kind of device is this? I think I've seen one before. Oh, right. There was a similar device when we went to the school. The after-school club room. With Shin? Shin, what's this? Were you in a band with me? You were totally in a band with me, weren't you? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, not exactly. So, did you want to join the band with her then? What? Yeah, he did. I could tell. <laughs> what instrument were you playing before? This is the first I've ever seen this kind of equipment here. That's around the same time you started distancing yourself from me. Did you start after that her live? Did you start after seeing her live performance? By the way, what instruments were you playing? The bass. I see. That's right. You were always saying that the person playing bass in the band wasn't very good. <laughs> That's great. Wait. So, is all this true? Did Shin start playing an instrument because he wanted to join the band? I've never seen Shin at such a loss for words before. It is rel relatively new. What does that matter now? I'm going to make dinner, so help me out. 
and mom won't home be home until late. Uh oh, he's all mad now. I haven't seen Shin like that in a long time. I guess he really didn't want us to see this. Or maybe he's just always been like this when it comes to things related to you. It's hard to tell sometimes, but it looks like you really are loved. Oh, so cute. He wanted to learn instruments for me. You awake? Oh, it's Shin. I'm coming in. What are you doing? Don't look around people's desks without permission. You're the one who left all your stuff open. Besides, it's only she music and reference books. All music is pretty famous. Hmm. Maybe he's just practicing all the songs that you've ever played. <laughs> when you get home, you should check them to see if they're the same sheet, mu sheet music that you have. Why are you grinning like that? Don't tell me you just remembered something stupid. More importantly, there's something I wanted to ask you when I got a chance. Hmm, what could it be? You stayed at the lodge and managed to find the evidence that I was looking for the police get it. I'm sure the culprit will be arrested sooner or later. But for my guess, the, the culprit wants to hide most isn't the crime itself. Hmm? What does that mean? What would a criminal want to hide besides their crime? I mean, to expose everything. But that might be a result in some painful emotions for you, too. That's why I want to ask you first. Who do you think did it? Can you guess their motive? Do you have the courage to ask and to hear the answer? Regardless, I do intend to have you hear it, even if you aren't prepared. I'd just feel better knowing ahead of time. So, do you, who do you think the person who really pushed you was? What do you think, Orion? I think the culprit was... What? I can choose both? I, I didn't have this option before. Hold on. <laughs> Just ask me, like, blatantly straight out. What do you think, Orion? Wait, you're asking me? Hmm. I definitely can't make an irresponsible guess here. I think your memory you regained is key to solving the memory of this incident. Hey, you don't have to think so much. It's not like your opinion will change as a result of all this. Oh, okay. I think it was Tomo. Hmm. What? Just a hmm? No way. It's not even... I don't even want to think about it. Good morning. You've got your usual work today. Mine said this before, but it's like stepping back to reality. Are you prepared? Do you think you can do your job right? Anyway, you should get up. Are you up? I'm coming in. Oh, it's Shin. Well, we are in his apartment. got work today, right? I have school. I'll walk with you and lock up here. Alright. You need to leave a shin. Uh, hey, are you planning to stay here for today? If you're still going to stay, I need to go home for a bit after work. Let's see. No, it'll be fine. Nothing happened yesterday. Yuki, if anything happens on your way home, call me right away. Tomo, you have to work too, right? Look after her. I know. Well, I guess you should get ready and head over to work. 
I'm going to have to thank the manager for looking after the cafe alone. Hmm, mine? Why are you standing out around here? Oh, good morning. Did you come together? Hmm, I didn't realize you were that close. So we both stayed at Shin's place. It's nothing like that. More importantly, is the cafe not open? Well, that's right. The manager isn't here. Tomo, you have a key, right? Yeah, I have it. Wait a sec. <sighs> that's good. I couldn't get into the cafe, so I didn't know what to do. I wonder where the manager is. Oh. What is it? There's a letter. I'm tired from working all three days straight. I'm taking some time off. Waka. So that's what it was. Well, I guess three of us still just have to open up shop today. Hope I don't forget anything. Ugh, reality is already coming to us mercilessly. I think I would have preferred not to come back. Okay, enough complaining. Fine. Go check inventory. Roger that. <laughs>